like them free calls. Heard you fuck with Shirlene Hyatt, also known as Michael Hyatt, was born in England to Jamaican parents. She moved to the U.S. at 10 years old with her parents and siblings, and they lived in Maryland and Washington, D.C. Later on, she went to study acting at Howard University, then continued at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts for her master's. Michael was in ragtime on Broadway for five months, and she has 74 acting credits currently, and she has been working since 95. Her standout work for me was Mississippi Damned. The film was powerful, and it was about black children in Mississippi dealing with their family cycle of abuse, addiction, and violence. I liked the film because of how realistic it was in portraying the black family when there is abuse and addiction in the way. It's heartbreaking, but there's also moments of love and something good coming out of this family's pain. So when I first saw Michael in Mississippi Damned, to me, she has this quality like, I haven't seen this one before, but I want to see more of her work. She has this power on screen that's not to be ignored. And with the recognition of Snowfall, I'm glad people are taking notice. But she deserves her flowers because she's proven to be an amazing actress. And those flowers, they're long overdue. And this is from an interview she did about True Detective. That was a true challenge, acting without a script and no understanding of the storyline beyond what was said in the scene I was in. But... I had a job to do when I did it. I treated every scene like an audition and created my own story. Hopefully, my performance didn't stink. Marin Dungy was born on August 6, 1971 in Sacramento, California. She began performing as a child in ballet, piano recitals, and figure skating. She graduated high school in 1989 and went to UCLA. She wanted to major in English, but appearing in plays and winning a prestigious American Theater Award as a sophomore made her change her major to theater. Marin graduated in 93 and studied at Beverly Hills Playhouse Acting School. While there, she developed a comic monologue about her own experience growing up in a white suburb, which she then made into a one-woman show called Black Like Who. The show was broadcast on HBO's comedy workspace, and some of it she adapted into a comedy routine, and that gave her representation by William Morris Agency. Marin has been in so many TV series and a few films. Her most notable series were Martin, which was her first role and one of my favorites, and her breakout role was Alias. I've watched Marin for a long time, and her TV career is pretty remarkable. She knows how to make a character her own, and that's why I think she deserves her flowers. This is from a little piece of an interview. There are no shortcuts, there are no excuses, and there's no insanity. You just gotta do it to make it in this world. You just gotta put the work in. There are so many people these days that think you go straight to the top, and it's not like that. I'm very proud of how much I've done, but I still gotta show up and be on time and know my lines. I think Marin and Michael both deserve their flowers, and I think they're both leading ladies, and they should be getting roles as leads, not just supporting actresses, and give them their flowers.